हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू डू एन एलिप्स बाय यूजिंग कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्किल मेथड लेट टेक द गिवन डेटा इन इट द मेजर एक्सिस ऑफ एन एलिप्स इज 100 एम एंड द माइनर एक्सिस इज 60 एम लॉन्ग ड्रॉ एन एलिप्स बाय कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्किल मेथड इन इट मेजर एक्सिस लेंथ इज गिवेन इट इज हंड्रेड एम और टेन सेंटीमीटर एंड द माइनर एक्सिस लेंथ इज गिवेन सिक्सटी एम लॉन्ग दट इज सिक्स सेंटीमीटर्स ओके टू लेंथ्स आर गिवेन मेजर एक्सिस एंड माइनर एक्सिस so in this concentric circle method always remember circle is coming here we have to do two circles with this diameter and then this diameter okay one circle is 10 cm diameter the another circle is 6 cm diameter okay for doing the circles first mark one center okay i am taking o so o as center do 10 cm diameter circle 10 cm diameter means 5 cm radius by using compass take 5 cm radius go as center do one circle and then do another circle with 6 cm diameter okay so radius is 3 cm by using compass take 3 cm is the radius take go as center do one more circle so here the bigger circle is major axis length the smaller circle diameter is minor axis length so after getting these two circles divide this circle into 12 equal divisions okay here as we know for any circle angle at the center is 360 degrees okay so we have to divide this 360 degrees into 12 equal divisions so 360 divided by 12 we are getting 30 degrees each part is 30 degrees here for dividing circle into 12 equal divisions first do one horizontal line and then one vertical line okay. do here one horizontal line and then one vertical line so as you know we are doing vertical line so extend this line after getting this horizontal diameter vertical diameter as we know the angle is 90 just now we kept now divide this into 12 equal divisions take the first division i am starting from here take 30 degrees mark 30 degrees here and then 60 degrees and then 90 degrees 30 30 degrees each part from this side give 30 degrees and then 60 degrees okay 90 degrees here we are getting these points join this point to center and extend that line okay for making divisions we should extend this line here and this point to center and then this point to center and then this point to center and then this point to center after getting this give the numbering here here i am starting from this side 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, we did twelve divisions here. At these intersection points also give the numbering. Okay, so first line here I am giving one dash, and uh, the for the second line here the intersection point is two dash. For the third line three dash, four dash, five dash, six dash. Seven dash, eight dash. For the ninth line, nine dash. For the tenth one, ten dash. Eleven dash. Here, twelve dash. Here, after marking these points, for getting the ellipse, always remember from the outer points we have to do the vertical lines. Okay, in the inside diagram. Here, also from the outer points, here also we have to do the vertical lines. We can't do outside the diagram. We have to do inside. Okay, from all the outer points, vertical lines. so from the inner points do the horizontal line okay so here i will do i will start from 9 do the vertical line here so it is symmetrical at 9 and 5 i, I will do the vertical lines okay because 9 and 5 are symmetrical okay vertical lines i am using this roller scale so that you can do easily 11 and 3 do vertical lines 
okay so at the outer points i did vertical line here after getting this vertical lines from the outer points do the horizontal line from inner points okay so here 9 11 9 dash 11 dash do the horizontal line and extend these lines up to this vertical line okay here and here so from outer points we did vertical line from inner points we did horizontal line do the intersection point is this is 9 9 dash point we can take p9 this is 11 11 dash intersection point take p11 similarly at 3 dash and 5 dash also do the horizontal line So 5 5 dash intersection point is I am taking P5 and 3 3 dash intersection point is P3. Similarly for getting P points do the vertical lines from the remaining outer points. Take this as a reference. Move the scale at 8 do the vertical line and at 6 also do the vertical line and then at 12 do the vertical line at 2 also do the vertical line after doing the vertical lines at outer points do horizontal lines from the inner points okay. take this as a reference do this name is 8 8 dash p8 and 12 12 dash p12 Similarly, at 2 dash, 6 dash also do the horizontal line. Do the names P6 and here P2. Here and 10 dash and 4 dash, the ellipse points are coming here. Okay, this is P10 and this is P4. Okay, here vertical lines are and horizontal lines are coinciding marking the p points give the major axis name i am giving ab and minor axis is cd just giving the names of major axis is ab minor axis is cd join all the p points through a b c and d you will get the ellipse for joining all these points i am using the french curve so that it is easy to do the ellipse now join all these points And here for this side, make it reverse and join the points. And for these points, take the same curve, keep this side. Now keep these points on this curve. And here do it. Just make it into reverse and join all these points. So this is the ellipse by using the concentric circle method. And here mark the major axis length given dimension outside the diagram and then CD minor axis length is 60. Okay. So dimension should be always at the middle of the dimensional line and also mark outside the diagram. Okay. And do the extension lines. Thank you for watching.